So what we're going to start out with here is some a little baby potatoes. I've split some of them and some of them I didn't. They're just small so we've got that. I'm going to throw an onion in here and also I've quartered a, a lemon. And then you see this uh, right here. This is some lemon thyme that uh, I actually grow beside the house and uh, it has a little citrus flavor and a little thyme. So we're going to go ahead and start this uh, by putting all this in this uh, water right here that's extremely getting hot and about to boil. I went ahead and put my thermal gloves on. It's hot down in here. We're just going to go ahead and drop this right in this water. Look at that lemon thyme to come off. There we go. It got in there now. So hello. Welcome in to the Oki Smoking channel. Today I'm doing something a little different and I may have just lost my mind because we're going shrimp boil in a pit barrel. So take a look at this. I've got this uh, grate on the bottom and I've got uh, coals beneath it. This is about to get to a boil. You can check the temperature of the water, 195, so it's approaching a boil. You can start to see it lightly boil there. But I like to keep with the theme of outdoor cooking. Now, I went ahead and added six quarts of water and one can of beer. Now, I'm going to go ahead and also add a little Old Bay seasoning here. Uh, just this right here. I'm going to go ahead and put this uh, about a half a cup. Got a little measuring cup right here. Place that right up in there. Starting to boil nicely. You know, we got this charcoal going. I could put that lid on at times. And this is, you could just call it some smoked shrimp boil, I guess, uh, over charcoal. So I'm going to let them potatoes cook for about 10 to 12 minutes. Let's take one more look at them. Uh, since I added that, it's got to get a little heated up before it starts boiling again. After about 10 to 15 minutes, I'm going to add some corn. I'm going to add some Polish kielbasa. And look, it's boiling nicely still. And now we're going to go ahead and add some frozen corn. Now we're just doing some great value corn here. as well as uh, I've, I've chunked these up, some Polish kielbasa sausages. And that's cooled that water down below a boil at the moment. Had to get that temperature back up, cook this about another old oh, 10 minutes or so, uh, maybe 15, whatever. Those potatoes should be done. This should be done. Then we'll add the shrimp. So it's time I've got really two pounds of shrimp here. Now this is already peeled, divined, it don't even have the tail. And you know, sometimes I like the tail and what have you, but you can get about double almost shrimp if you don't get the tail for about the same price. You don't have to mess with it. It's easy, just eat it. So that's what I'm gonna be using here. And you can see the corn and everything is looking nice. I did add a little bit of salt that I forgot to show. So there's a little salt in here as well. And then here's the, here goes that shrimp. This is going to be uh, the last bit to this uh, boil. Throw that right in there. That's a, lot, that's a lot of shrimp, actually. And let's stir that up. And this ain't going to take long, folks. When I come back, we're going to have this laid out for you. It's only one thing we got to do is add that SPG on top. Could add some more Old Bay, whatever you want. And let's go ahead and try out a piece of shrimp. Hmm. And a potato. It's really, really good. Again, you can just cook this on your stove if you want, but maybe you're out camping or something. You just want to take that pit barrel with you, throw some charcoal, throw that pan on there. Turned out fantastic. I got some eating to do. As I always say, outdoor cooking tastes better. Y'all guys have a great day. I'll see you in the next video.